This is part two of the attendance module tutorial. Uh, in part one we showed how to uh, add the attendance module and, uh, and, and create all the settings for it. In this part we're going to show you how to use it by taking attendance in a class and also how your view of it is as a professor and also how the students view is to show just their attendance results. So now let's show what happens when the professor is ready to uh, take attendance in the class. Just simply click the take attendance button. It puts you in here if this is your first class on 422 you'd click that green uh, take attendance button there and then there are your students. Now one uh, method of doing this that, that may work pretty well for you is to click the a for absent for everybody to start the class and then as they come in the room you can click present or if they're late or um, if they're absent you just leave it. If they've got an excuse absence you could click the E for excused and if you want to you you know since they've told you they've got a dental appointment you can uh, write that in there and then as uh, more students show up you know whichever order they come in you can just click the, um, the appropriate buttons um, to show who's late, who's present, and who's absent. When you've done, you've taken everybody, click OK, and that week is saved for attendance. And it tells you that it's um, at the top of the screen, it'll say it's been successfully saved, and uh, you can continue on. You'll see that the uh, green button disappears from that week. If you needed to make a change to it, you just click in the class again, and that would put you in the edit screen. You can make any modifications you want to make. So now I'm going to go back to the home page, and we've seen what the, uh, the instructor sees with this attendance block. Let's go to a student view. Now I have uh, re logged in as Eval02 student. Uh, which was one of the students that was late and so the student would see under the attendance block how many times they've been present late, excused or absent. There's only been one thing, uh, one attendance taken at this point and, and that is the one late that this student got. So that's the way that the um, attendance block would appear if um, that is a good way to, uh, to uh, be able to see all the different things for the student's view and that student doesn't need any controls and the professor has all the controls that are really easy to, to operate there. So I'd suggest using that block. So now I've returned to uh, the professor's view of the course and I'm going to go down and look at the grades and we'll see how this attendance item shows up in the grades. There's the grader report that comes up when you click grades and you can see now there's an attendance column in, in there and it shows the, uh, the totals out of 100 that the different students have as of that after that one day of attendance there. Now if that, uh, remember that was in the attendance update um, button that gets you into where you can change the number of points that you're given on the greater report as we showed in uh, part one of the attendance uh, tutorials. So if we had made that 10 points then this person would have 10, this person would have 5, so that it gives you the maximum uh, points in the grade. So that's how uh, the grade shows up with the attendance. Thank you.